Look at me in the middle of the road. All these cars are going on the wrong side of the road. Shooting a wheelie tutorial, you know what it is. Visit, they be in their feelings. I be trying to make these millions. I'm just trying to taste a bag. You keep talking about the past, what you did and what you had. No wonder you always mad. I'm just trying to get by. You just grinding and get fly. You worried about the wrong thing. YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Straight Up 631, and we are here with the dopest bike life content on YouTube. The video you guys have been all asking me for for the last year and a half is going down right here, right now. How to wheelie a YMZ 450R ATV, whatever you want, because it's all the same for any bike. We are here, and we are about to do a wheelie tutorial. I am gassed, y'all, and we are going to break it down step by step. How to wheelie by your very own Straight Up 631, man. Now, before we get into this video, are you guys subscribed? If you guys are not already subscribed, subscribe right now. Smash that thumbs up on this video. Drop a comment down below. And let's get right into today's video, man. Rule number one for the wheelie tutorial. We are gonna start it off nice and simple because if you are not an experienced rider and this is your first time really trying to wheelie, you need a helmet. So put a helmet on right here, right now, and we are gonna get to step number two. Step number two is jump on the bike, obviously start the bike. If you guys know how to ride clutch, I'm assuming you do because you are here to learn how to wheelie, but if you do not know how to take off in first gear, I'm just gonna break it down really quick. Pull the clutch in, which is your left lever right here. Step down, put it in first gear, and you are gonna wanna release the clutch slowly while giving it a little bit of gas. Make sure you know how to change through the gears smooth and ride the bike comfortably. explaining to y'all that your back brake is the most important thing when it comes to wheeling. When you are up in the air and the wheels are coming back and you go back too far or get uncomfortable at any point during the wheelie, hit your back brake. We're gonna go down the block right now and I'm gonna show you guys. Pop the clutch, don't worry about how high you're getting yet. Pop the clutch, get the front wheel up, tap the back brake. Pop the clutch, tap the back brake. Pop the clutch, tap the back brake. Repeat until you have it drilled through your head. Whenever you are uncomfortable or if you feel like you're going back too far, tap the back brake. What I'm gonna recommend is go into second gear, smooth and slow like this, pull your clutch in, pop clutch, brake. Pop clutch, brake. So get comfortable with the front end coming up and if you feel uncomfortable at any point, tap your brake. We are lit. Gas, pop it up. Break. Gas, pop it up, break. Do that about 50 times. Make sure it is drilled in your head every single time you feel uncomfortable or if the bike goes back too far, tap the brake. Okay. Now for everybody in the past that I've taught to wheelie, I keep on telling them over and over again, it is not a skill thing, it is a fear thing. When you get the bike to a certain point, it feels like you shouldn't be at that point, it feels uncomfortable, it's a mental fear like, oh, I don't know what to do, and panic. What you need to do is break that fear of having the bike at the point where it needs to be. So when I say the point it needs to be, I mean, ready? I'm gonna show you guys right now. So, when people wheelie, right? Have you ever seen somebody do a power wheelie? Basically, what a power wheelie is, is when you're in like third gear, right? And you just pop it up and you're wheeling and you're using the gas just to and riding the wheelie out. So those people are like right about here, right? What I need you guys to get to is about right here. This is your balance point. When the bike is basically at 10, 11 o'clock, the bike is gonna wanna float in the air. The front wheels are literally just gonna glide. You're gonna get a nice coast once you get the feel for it. But I'm not sweating getting to the balance point right now. What I want you guys to do is pop the clutch, get it up, tap the brake, pop the clutch, get it up, tap the brake. And then once you get comfortable with that, I want you to pop the clutch, give it gas, get it up to about this point, get a little coast, feather the brake. Now, this is another thing. When you get the wheels in the air and you're wheeling, and let's say you get a nice little run, right? If you tap that brake too hard, the front end is gonna come down quick. And when you give it the gas, it might not want to come all the way back up because you might be on the top of the gear. So basically, when you're hitting the back brake in the wheelie, you want to feather it. You want to be very gentle. Smooth movements. You want to be smooth with the throttle, smooth with the brake. So pop clutch, gas, gas, gas. Maybe if you go back too far, brake. Gas, gas, brake. Just trying to figure out for learners if it is better to wheelie with your right foot covering the brake and your left foot in the grab bar 
or sitting down. It's all preference, but at this point, I think if you really want to learn how to wheelie a dirt bike or a quad or wheelie anything, you should just do a sit down off rip. It is harder, but once you get it, you're good. For those of you who aren't comfortable with sitting on the seat, you can put your foot in the grab bar, and all the rules that I'm telling you on how to wheelie all go the same way. It's a little bit easier because you can actually put your weight on your foot, and it's almost like you're standing up, so it's it's easier to either jump off the bike, which you don't want to do, but worst case scenario, don't worry about the bike, worry about yourself, because you could replace materialistic things. You can't replace your body part. Now to step four, y'all, let's get into it. Step number four is all about your throttle control. What you want to do is when you get it in the air, you want to be quarter throttle, steady, ease into it a little bit, and let the wheel flow back. When it gets to a certain point where you're uncomfortable, tap that brake. But like I said, don't hit it too hard. Feather it. Smooth movements. You want to be one, one, just like this. Ready, let's go. I'm so excited to be doing this video here for you guys. Now on to step number five. Step number five is going to be when you're coming down from the wheelie, you do not want to have your wheels cut like that. Because I've seen people come down with their wheels not straight, and you know what happens? They get a wobble, they get thrown off, their quad flips. It can happen, y'all. So make sure, no matter if you're on a dirt bike or a quad, when you're coming down from the wheelie, when you tap that back brake, if you feel uncomfortable, whatever the circumstances, there's a car in front of you, whatever it is, when you tap that back brake, make sure your wheels are straight. That is about all I can explain for a simple new beginner how to wheelie tutorial in five simple steps. And I'm just gonna summarize exactly what I broke down to y'all really quick, right here, right now. Basically, step number one, make sure you have protection, protective gear. I say always wear a helmet. If you guys want, feel free to wear knee pads, elbow pads, the whole nine yards, maybe like a, a riding suit, some leather. Step number two, know how to ride a bike. Obviously, if you're coming in here, looking wheelie, looking at a wheelie tutorial video, you guys should know how to ride. But for those of you who have never ridden a bike and just wanna jump the gun and learn how to wheelie right off rip, make sure you know how to ride the clutch, take off smoothly, go through the gears. That's it for step number two. Now on to step number three. Always, no matter what you're feeling, if you're feeling uncomfortable, if you feel like the bike's going back too far, if you need to stop because there's something in front of you, tap the back brake, drill that through your head. Tap the back brake, and a little tip from me to you guys, make sure your foot is always covering the back brake. I know I say tap the back brake, but that means your foot always wants to be right over, over the pedal. You don't want to ride the pedal because obviously it will be restricting you from wheeling and wanting to pull the front end down, but always have your foot just hovering over the brake, just like this. Step number four. Throttle control. So once you got the brake drilled in your head, the next thing to learn is the throttle control and knowing how much to hit the gas, when to ease into it, how to get the bike to come up smoothly, not aggressively, because the more aggressive you are on hitting the gas or tapping the brake, the harder the front end wants to come down or kick back, which is dangerous. You guys want to ease your way into it, get comfortable, don't rush yourself, and take it step by step. Now on to step number five for the summary. When you come down from a wheelie, priority, y'all. You do not want to come down with your wheels cut. Make sure they are straight so you can safely take the front wheels, land them on the ground, and ride off smoothly. Like an airplane, y'all. Mm. Look at me in the middle of the road. All these cars going on the wrong side of the road just going back. Yeah, y'all. We're shooting a wheelie tutorial. You know what it is. We don't care who we hold up. Little nice touch right there. Did you guys notice that? We got the orange bolts on the rims. And there is one more final touch to this bike that we need to do. Comment down below right now and guess what it is. You guys see what's going on. What do you think the last final touch to the bike other than the orange rim bolts? Let me know, comment, comment, comment right now. And that is it y'all, five simple steps on how to wheelie by your boy straight up 631. Stay tuned for more tutorials on the way. I will be doing a bunch of tutorials on how to do specific combos, how to turn the whole nine yards. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And when you get the hang of it, this is what it's gonna look like.
Yeah, so this is how we are gonna close this video out. Thank you so much to everybody that tuned into this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Smash that thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and I'll catch y'all next vlog. Yeah! Keep on rocking in the free world at doo 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 631. You know the vibe.